There's a handful of up-and-coming features in GameMaker that I'd like to cover soon, but they are currently all in beta, and currently I would like to uh, let them mature a little bit before I make videos on them, which leaves me in a bit of a, um, with a bit of an empty spot uh, in the schedule for this week. So instead, today I think I'm going to do something a little bit different and talk about a feature of GameMaker that I actually don't think makes any sense. This was added about a year ago, and it probably flew under the radar for most of you because it's really not that useful, I don't think. If anyone can think of something that you can do with this that you can't do otherwise in GameMaker, uh, let me know. I'll be interested to, to hear your thoughts. But uh, there's a function called nameof, not to be confused with other similarly named functions such as type of or instance of or is instance of GameMaker. We have a bit of a problem with, uh, with naming things in our standard library here. But anyway, not talking about those. So what nameof does, uh, let's say you have a value, and we can assign something to it. I don't know, let's say 5 times 10 plus 7 or something like that. I don't care. Uh, not important. And let's say that we pass the uh, value variable into the name of function and uh, show it in a message box or something. And the name of function is a compile time function, uh, which will do a little bit of, I guess you could call it like quasi-reflection in your code, and instead of like evaluating whatever uh, was passed into it, uh, it will instead just turn the, uh, the, the, well, the name of whatever you passed into the uh, name of function into a string, and it will just return that. That's all it does. Um, let's uh, game end when we're finished with this. You can take this a step further. Uh, you can, instead of saying show message the name of value, uh, you could pass in the literal um, arithmetic into this function, and uh, this will actually not completely work for reasons which I'll talk about in a minute, which is that um, this is a compile time function which will basically um, turn whatever you pass to it as a parameter into a string, but it, it won't go any farther than the first piece of white space. Uh, so if you're someone like me who likes to put spaces around your punctuation to give your code space to breathe, then It'll, it'll give up halfway through. By the way, uh, in case you're wondering, this is a, a compile time value. As I said, this is a compile time function, not a runtime one. And if I were to go and uh, do the trick where I go and investigate the game maker bytecode, uh, where is the asset compiler invoked? Uh, let, me just, uh, let me just invoke the asset compiler manually uh, with the verbose compiler output option, and we will, in fact, see that uh, the name of function isn't even a, a function that's actually called in the runtime. Uh, it literally just takes this, takes the input and turns it into a string at compile time. So what can you do with this um, is the question that I've been asking for almost a year, because as far as I can tell, uh, the answer to that is not really anything. Uh, I mentioned reflection at the beginning of the video. Other, some other programming languages do have feature, features which allow code to basically like investigate its own structure, hey. I guess I would say. But this doesn't really do that. You can't really do anything with this that you couldn't already do by just literally wrapping quotes around the value. Um, very early on when this was first added, I heard someone suggest that if you had something like an enum value, like this, and if you wanted to do name of, uh, because getting like the literal name as, of an enum and presenting it to the user or presenting it to the developer for debugging purposes is something that people have wanted in Game Maker since like the Stone Age. Um, if you wanted to print out the name of an enum, you could say name of some enum dot second or whatever, and this will um, this will do exactly that. Uh, but generally speaking, when you're when you're writing code and when you're using enums or, or anything of that sort, um, you're not actually literally referencing an enum like this. And you, this doesn't really present any useful information to you because you, as the person who presumably wrote this code, already knows what the name of the enum inside this name of function is. And if you instead try to uh, say assign an enum to a variable somewhere and then come back later, and look at the variable and figure out what the value of the enum that was stored inside it was. Uh, GameMaker doesn't have a way of, of doing this for you because enums are also compile time and these turn into just literally numbers um, when you build your game. And if you try to name of this variable, you're just going to get 
the text of the variable name. You're not going to get the, the, anything related to the value stored inside it, right? It would be definitely appreciated for a bunch of different reasons if there was a way to get the name of an enum value from a um, some numerical input, but that's a uh, that's an entire separate discussion. Hey, I could possibly see this being used as a way to like debug the game maker compiler itself, but one would think that YoYo Games has better ways to do that, and that's not something that the that the user of the engine really has a whole lot to do with in the first place. Um, the last thing I can think of, if I like really were to stretch my imagination, like, I don't know, if you had some, some struct rep representing a character or something like that, and you wanted to draw on like the character summary screen or something like that, um, actually, um, let me give this a better name. Anyway. If you wanted to like present some kind of character screen to the player and you wanted like um if you wanted to one have the player see something that literally looked like this and if uh crucially you also wanted to like leave open the possibility that you could use the uh refactor feature of feather to rename this variable and also have this automatically updated Technically, that's something that you can only do with the name of function and that you couldn't do otherwise because if um, if you just had like this wrapped in quotes and you tried to refactor a variable name with, uh, with Feather, uh, it wouldn't update this. But there really are just so many better ways of doing what I just said that I can't see it ever actually being something that someone wants to do. Anyway, uh, that is the name of function, a bit of an enigmatic feature of Game Maker. I can't say I really have any interest in ever using this. If you have... Uh, some ideas. We can debate those in the comments. I've never heard from Yo-Yo Games themselves what this was added for. As far as I know, it just showed up in the update notes one day last year. I've never seen, like, Rustler or anyone um, comment on it, so I don't know what the goal was. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me for today. Uh, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I like to post videos on the weird things you can do in Game Maker, including but not limited to weird 3D stuff, so if anything like that appeals to you, feel free to subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. You should all go check out the Steam page for Wizard Ducks, which is the game that I like to work on when I'm not doing YouTube stuff. Link to that can be found down below as well. I hope you all found this, well, useful might be a little bit over-optimistic, but I hope you found this interesting, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Square Crow, Manta Ray, Game Maker, Edward Hull, and DJ Gibbles for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, Head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.